the Sassoon Marsh is the largest contiguous brackish marsh on the west coast. It's very imperative to migrating waterfowl and shorebirds and avian species that travel up and down the coast. The things that impact these species are salinity foremost and then that also affects water quality. The salinity control gates is one of the mechanisms DWR uses to ensure the water quality in the Susan Marsh is fresh enough to promote waterfowl habitat for managed wetlands. The salinity control gates are operated tidally. During outgoing tide, the gates open allowing fresh water to enter the marsh from upstream. During the incoming tide, we close the gates to prevent salt water from coming into the marsh. Over time, the gates themselves, as well as uh, the structure itself, they decay. We're taking each gate out one by one, one each year. The hardest part is access, getting it to and from the site location to the actual shop where we're doing the repairs. As you see, we have a large barge out here and a barge crane. It's not something you can just load up on a truck and take down the freeways. Bring the gate in, they have to fly it over the Bay 3. They have to actually lower the arms into the bay first, then swing the gate down below that in order to make it fit in its slot. With the next two gates, we're gonna do one per year, and pretty much the whole downtime leading up to the next install will be the repair work associated with getting the next gate ready. All the repairs we made are with the intent that it will last another 40 years before we have to come and reassess its condition again. The marsh is home to 115,000 acres of managed wetlands, tidal ponds, and other variable habitat. The gates provide the opportunity to keep that habitat strong and thriving for the endemic species. If the marsh salinities get too high, then the vegetation and the food and the resources that the species here utilize will no longer be available to them.